With so many different anti-aging skincare devices on the market and so many ads creating the illusion that these things can dramatically turn back the years on your skin, consumers are left with a fear of missing out on the best thing. But what I've learned over the years of talking to experts and trying out all the different technologies myself is that there's no single or best thing, or there isn't to date. Instead, you've got a lot of pretty comparable home devices designed to stimulate your skin cells to get more active either through heat, light, electrical currents, vibration, or another form of energy. I've found some to be more effective than others, and key to that is also the ease of use long term. So finding devices that can easily fit in with your daily routine and which are painless and hassle free. For me, two have stood the test of time. They are red light and microcurrent and I'm going to explain and show you today why combined, I believe they're the dream team for at home skin rejuvenation. So let's start with microcurrent and what the makers say is that using a microcurrent device on your face regularly can both tone and lift the skin by stimulating your facial muscles and even help trigger the production of collagen and elastin, both essential proteins for the strength and volume of your skin. The devices are designed to release a gentle electric current through your skin to help build the muscle. And the theory behind increasing the production of collagen and elastin in your skin is that by exciting and energizing our skin cells and giving our muscles a workout, creating increased blood and oxygen flow to our skin, this optimizes the condition for improved cell productivity. A small Austrian study that looked at the impact of microcurrent on burn wound healing supported this idea when it found that the application of the current did indeed increase blood flow to the skin. That's backed by a 2018 study from a hospital in Kuala Lumpur, which reported accelerated wound healing among patients who were treated with microcurrent. So the makers of the Zip device, which I use, also did a study involving 50 participants with mild to moderate acne, where they used the device every other day for 12 weeks with a significant reduction in lesions recorded. And I'll link to those studies below. But we could really use a few good controlled studies looking at microcurrent for facial rejuvenation. We do know from another study that it helped build muscle in elderly patients. So there are lots of positive indicators, but it would be great to know what intensity of current performs best for facial rejuvenation and over what frequency. And how about red light? Well, there's a little more direct scientific evidence to support its use for skin aging. Red light therapy uses low level wavelengths of red and near infrared light to treat skin issues, including wrinkles and scarring. It's thought to work by strengthening the mitochondria in our cells, which play a vital role in supporting and boosting a cell's energy, working in tandem with the energy carrying molecule found in all cells called ATP. And there've been a few encouraging studies, including a Korean study published in the Journal of Photochemistry and Photobiology, which saw 76 patients with visible facial wrinkles treated with LED on the right half of their faces twice a week for four weeks and followed up after three months, including a group that were given a fake treatment. In the results, there was a significant reduction of wrinkles and an increase in skin elasticity and a marked increase in the amount of collagen in those treated with LED compared with the untreated group. Now, my own experience of using both red light and microcurrent combined has been really positive. They are the two home technologies that I've used consistently for well over a year now. And over that period, I feel my skin has become visibly healthier and just a little bit fuller as well. But I do have uh, some more recent and more compelling evidence than that because a few months ago, my mom, who is 81, was really struggling with muscle twitching to the outer side of her right eye. It was almost constant so some days and it, it was really getting her down. She wasn't keen to try Botox and so all I could think was there was likely some inflammation, which I thought red light might be helpful for. And I also thought a little heat and vibration would be helpful. So I gave her a little handheld device called the Urchin from Mesama that is basically pulsed red light and microcurrent with heat and some vibration too. And she started to use it daily only around 
the outer side of her right eye for about two to three minutes every night sitting in front of the TV. And to be clear, she wasn't using it on clean skin or with a conductive gel or anything like that. She was using it on skin that she'd applied moisturizer and makeup to earlier in the day, but she was just gently moving it around her eye for a few minutes at a time. And she was compelled to keep using it because of the instant relief she got while it was in use. And it would calm the twitching for a period of time after as well. And that became cumulative over probably around at least 12 weeks to the point where her eye doesn't really twitch very much at all now. But guess what else we noticed? Standing talking to her about how much this had helped her eye twitching, I noticed the skin around her right eye was noticeably more volumized than her left. And I took a photo recently and I was able to compare it to a picture I'd taken late last year. And in the photo from last year, you can see that the skin around both eyes had aged similarly with volume loss around the sockets and a little buildup of eye bags on both eyes too. In the picture taken just a few weeks ago, the skin around her right eye only is firmer and also firmer up to the point where she'd been using the device. So the eye bag there, I think, is reduced as well. Now, to me, based on my own experience and what I've heard from viewers as well, it was the combination of red light and microcurrent that did the heavy lifting here. I'm sure the vibration was helpful too, but I think it was that combination of red light and microcurrent that help the most. And so if you already have a separate red light device and a microcurrent one at home, there's no need to buy a combined gadget. But if you're starting from scratch and wanna combine them, there are other devices, including the SolarWave, which also includes heat and vibration, which you could look at, as well as the Urchin, which had actually sold out at the time of filming. So what I'll do is I'll link to a few options at different price points below. Lastly, just a few thoughts around whether you can overdo it with red light and microcurrent. And the short answer I think to that is yes. You know, it's absolutely possible to overdo most things in life and these modalities are no exception. So I've done quite a lot on the channel on red light and I'll link to a discussion below where we talk about overuse of red light and how you can avoid it. Studies suggest red light emits a burst of free radicals or unstable molecules that are initially helpful to the skin, but only up to a point. And if the free radicals accumulate beyond a certain level, they start to become unhelpful rather than helpful. And experts think it's not about how frequently you use your red light device, it's more about how long you use it for within a single session. Most manufacturers of face masks and panels now recommend 10 minutes or under per session. I use my red light panel first thing in the morning for about six minutes and I sit doing my facial exercises in front of it. I spoke about the exercises that I do in a recent video, so I'll link to that below too. But I do also believe it's possible to um, overdo microcurrent and particularly those stronger devices which can feel very zappy and uncomfortable on your skin. And there have been some anecdotal reports, I've had some from viewers, that uh, microcurrent devices have contributed to some facial fat loss and electrical current is used in some weight loss devices. And there are studies to support the theory that electrical current stimulates lipolysis, which is how fat is converted into energy. But the feedback that I've had from viewers is that overwhelmingly most users are positive about their results and have not noticed any fat loss, which is absolutely my experience of using it. I've used microcurrent for a few years now, and it's more of a case of finding, I think, the right balance for your skin. Personally, I avoid the devices that feel particularly strong. So I mentioned I use the Zip device, which combines a gentler nanocurrent with microcurrent. The makers recommend using it three to five times a week. I use my Zip most days, so probably five days a week, but I don't use a conductor gel, which I'll explain in a moment. So I think the official line is if you want best and fastest results, then I would recommend choosing a known brand for starters and using a water-based serum or conductor gel as instructed. From my perspective, I will likely, unless some superior technology comes along, use microcurrent and red light combined for the foreseeable future. That means they have to fit neatly and easily in with my routine so that I can continue to use them very frequently long term. And so I use my current device on damp skin before showering and after using red light first thing. 
So I don't want to be buying or using extra serums and gels and adding extra things to my skin almost daily that I don't need. I also find the conductive gels personally make the current feel a little too strong for my liking. So I'm not following the recommendations, but it works for me uh, just to use the device as a massage tool with a little current on damp skin. So that's my experience along with the reasons I use red light and microcurrent as my modalities of choice to support my skin as it ages. I don't profess to know the exact doses of either that are most effective and I don't think anybody else does either because we just don't have the studies to guide us and that's a shame. But I would love to hear your experience of using microcurrent and red light. What do you use and how long for? And have you noticed results? Have any of you tried the solar wave, for instance, or a different device that combines these two modalities. I'd love to hear your thoughts because we learn most from each other. And don't forget, you can find more informative content around skincare and healthy aging on my website, honest.scot. And by scrolling to the bottom of any page, you can sign up for my monthly newsletter where I round up all the latest news and content from me so you don't miss anything. And if you enjoy my content, you can help it reach more people by subscribing if you haven't already on YouTube or following my podcasts and sharing my content with friends or family who you think might be interested. Your support means absolutely everything. So until next time, thank you for being here.